So as we start going through our day, we're literally noticing these red light stories pop up all over the place. And then here's what we do. is we beat ourselves up for having the red light stories, right? So now we're like, you know, we're aware, we, we, you know, and we think that's a good thing, but it becomes a bad thing for us because we believe that the red light stories should go away. I got news for you. The red light stories never go away. The goal is not to get rid of the red light stories. The goal is to stop believing them to stop attaching yourself to them. See, you've got to know that anytime you're looking at a circumstance in your life, there's always gonna be the negative and the positive point of view. The red light story will always be there. So you have to be able to recognize it, see it, feel it, say, okay, that's not the path I wanna take, and then say, what's the other point of view? But because a lot of you resist it, you beat yourself up, why am I still having these? Why is it still happening to me? Look, all that means is you are a human being. The human existence is half negative and half positive. 50% of the time you're going to see bad, 50% of the time you're going to see good. This is the way that it's supposed to be. See, it's actually the contrast of good and bad that make the good feel so good. So let's not try to get rid of the bad. Let's not resist the bad. Let's just acknowledge the bad will always be there. It's our job to find the good in any situation. So ask yourself that, are you resisting it and are you beating yourself up because they're still there? At the end of the day, here's what it comes down to. We all want change, but we don't want to have to change. Think about that. Do you want change, but are you unwilling to do the work to create it? That's what it boils down to. Most people say they want to live a better life. They say they want total freedom. They say they want to transform their inner world. They want change, but they're not willing to do the work to get it. See, because I hold the argument when we talk about the timeline of your journey, it's for most of you, it's not going to be until that second or third month that you're going to really start to see traction and notice actual changes in the way that you see the world and the results you see in front of you. And look, sometimes it's a light bulb moment, but for a lot of you, it might not be a light bulb moment. It might be a more subtle thing. Like all of a sudden you'll just notice that you're generally not as negative anymore, that you're not like, like you recruit somebody and they fail and you don't make that mean anything less about you. You just effortlessly move past that and you, you just move on to the next thing. Other people may start to see it in you. Maybe it's your family, friends, maybe it's your other team members. They just notice that you don't, you don't react to things anymore as much. You're more intentional about the way you want to respond. And then maybe all of a sudden the results start to show up. And look, how long is it going to take? I don't know. It's going to be different for all of you. Look, I totally understand. That is so much easier said than done because most of us have, are addicted to the results. We have been so conditioned to constantly look at the results of what we do, to judge whether we're doing it, attaching our sense of self-worth to it. But here's my greatest challenge to you, is can you just submit to the process? Can you redefine success as not a result? But success is love, serve, grow. Success is a process. Success is us showing up, serving and growing. And part of how we serve is really learning how to manage our own thinking and our mindset. Every moment, choosing love over fear, allowing yourself to fail. How about this? How about if you have a bad day or you have a bad week where you don't do it? How about you don't let that bad day or bad week knock you off track? How about you show yourself enough grace and love and compassion to say, hey, I'm going to have bad days. I'm going to have a bad week, but I'm not going to allow that to erode my belief that I can become better and grow and do this thing. So set a plan and start that, but allow yourself to fail, not have that make it mean you're a failure and take that next step forward in realizing all you can ever focus on is the moment at hand. <laughs>